Hey folks, I've almost finished the next version of NTR View for Wii U and as is apparently tradition, I figured I'd make a video about it. This time I'm going to sort of show it from nothing. All I've got is NTR CFW on my 3DS and the RPX on my Wii U. No config files or anything of that nature yet. And as you can see, in a bit of a change from last time, when you boot it up, once it loads, it now says bad IP, press left stick for menu, because yes, we have a menu now. So let's go in there, and you can see that I can choose my 3DS IP address. Oda pulls up a keyboard. On the 3DS side, what I can do is I can press L down select to bring up the Rosalina menu, go to debugger options, enable debugger, and you can see it says my IP address is 10 While I'm here, we'll also go to miscellaneous and turn on input redirection. So let's copy that into our Wii U. I did see if there was a way to make this keyboard more convenient for IP addresses, unfortunately not, so I wasn't able to find out a way to do it with our current tech. But as you can see, it changes that. And let's head back out of the menu. And it should connect straight up. And so that was with no config files of any kind, and now if I quit NTR view, you know, takes, I have a lot of apps. HBL takes a while to load. And bring that back up. Now the netcode is still kind of questionable, so it's not going to work very well now that we restarted it. But the point is, is that it remembered the IP address and connected straight in with no INI file or anything like that. So once the netcode catches up and we get a bottom screen frame, I will show you the other thing that has been added, and that is uh, profiles. You've always been able to customize completely the uh, layout of the top and bottom screens, with the default being a full screen top screen view on the TV and a small bottom screen view on the gamepad if it ever turns up. There we go. You really want to reboot the 3DS when you restart the Wii U site as well, just to make sure it all gets back in sync faster. Part of the uh, new menu, though, is that you can come down to Profile now, press A to edit it, and you can see I have a right arrow, so if I go right, and now I have both screens as my preset, and as you can see on the TV as well. This depends on the resolution. Um, at 1080p, it's this side-by-side -side one. On 720p and 480p televisions, you'll get one that's closer to this. And, of course, as with how it was previously, you can create entirely custom profiles, and they will get added to the menu in the list. So you can name them yourself and position the screens however you would like for all TV resolutions and, obviously, on the gamepad. So, yeah, that's the big new thing. Uh, hopefully it will make life much easier for people who just want to download it and get started. I might even look at getting this on the Homebrew App Store now that it's actually possible without using a custom config file. But yeah, thought I'd just give you a bit of a sneak peek. It's not far off being ready. I'm you know, just going to get some testing done and then it'll probably come out. So keep an eye out. 